Yeah, I confess, father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong. I know it's your boy Fat Boy Fish, and I'm right back with a little bit of topic. And I compiled, I compiled a list of things that people do, y'all, and I just I just don't understand why they do these things now excuse me now we live in a world right but why we live in this world and people only think about themselves from excuse me from what I notice about people if you let them they will take every single thing that you have so you live in a world amongst people who take advantage of other people now is that the way a person should be I'll let you be the judge of that in your life. Now I just compile, I compiled this little list right now, family. And it's things that people do, I just don't understand. I just don't understand why they do these things because some of them are just assholes and some of them is inconsiderate assholes. So I just wrote this little list and when I say these things, you tell me, does this get under your skin? People who block you in on the street when you park. Now, it's some people out there, y'all. And I don't stay in a major populated city to where ain't, ain't no parking spaces like that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's nothing like that. It's a lot of room out here. The, the city where I live is damn near 20 years ago. It was all country. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of room over here. So I don't understand why people pull up on your bumper. And then the next person in front of you, when they park, they pull up all the way on the hood in your car. And they only leave you like this much room to get out of your damn car. I hate that, y'all. I hate that. Inconsiderate ass people that don't know how to park a damn car. You got to be all the way up on my bumper, mister. Miss, you got to be all the way up on the hood. You ain't going to leave me no room. You can't even fit a leg in between the car. How the hell I'm going to get out the parking lot? How the hell I'm going to get my car off the street? People not having that. People who always ask you for a jump or a ride. Man, now these people right here are something special, y'all. Because every time they see you, they either going to ask you for a ride or they going to ask you for a jump. Now, I'm not a taxi. I'm not going to be taxiing you nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't care if I got a full tank of gas. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? You're a grown person. Make your own means. I'm not a taxi cab driver. Now, people who always need a jump. Man, you, you can't take $35 and go down to the Kalimas. You know what I'm saying? You can't take $35, $40 and go down to one of them battery stores and buy a battery. Every time I see you want to jump, you need to save your money up and get a damn, some, some, uh, a damn battery because I don't got no more jumper cables no more. I don't know what happened to them. They just came up missing. <laughs> That's how I handle them people. People who let the animals run free, but they know where around. And they say, that dog don't bite. Hold up. Hold up. You got this big ass rock roller running around the damn neighborhood. This dog weighs 250 damn pounds. A person going to tell me. He's a neighborhood dog. He don't bark at nobody. But why when I seen them little kids walking in front of him, I heard him growl at them. But he's supposed to be a friendly ass dog. Now, I used to get mad when the police shoot people dog. I'm not mad no more. If you let your dog run wild in the street, you deserve to get your dog off the pavement from either getting ran over or getting shot by somebody. If you let your dog just run, and it's a big dog. I'm not talking about them them ankle biters. I kick them in the face all the time. Arr, arr, arr. I kick them right in the face when I'm walking down the street. And they come up trying to bite at my ankles. They come out their gate. And they run up to me trying to bite me. And I ain't even baking that. I ain't even going in yard, y'all. I ain't even went in these people's yard. And these little dogs came out on my ass. And yeah, I kicked them in the nose. I don't feel bad about it. I don't. But back to these big ass dogs that they let roam the street. Now, you let your dog, 175, 200 pounds, run the street. And if somebody kill your dog, it don't necessarily have to be them doing like a physical action. They can give your dog some ground beef that got poison in it. And then I remember with that incident, the man, even though I didn't stay in his neighborhood, I told him what his dog did to the children. And when the people, they killed his dog, they fed him poison like I'm telling y'all. This big ass rock waller, y'all. He gonna come around me acting like I was the one who did it. 
Okay, fuck it. I did it. If it makes you feel better, I did it. Excuse my language. People who run scams on old people because they owe. Now, I, I hate these people because they scamless, y'all. Why would you sit there and mess with the elderly? You know they can't hear. You know they can't see. You know that they older in time and they don't comprehend like a young person real snappy. Get the information real fast. Be able to process information real fast. But they run scams on old people. And I hope these people all here that scam old people, I hope you be one of the people that be old and people always scamming you out your money and all of your stuff. And let's see how you like it. I do not like people who scam old people. That is wrong. I don't care how you cut it. I don't care how you walk around it. It's still wrong. Men who pull it into the drive through and they don't know what they want. Oh, man. You a man. You are a man. And you, hold up. You drove to a place, a place in which you pick for your own self. And when you get there, you don't know what you want. I tell y'all like this. Anywhere I go, I don't care if it's a store. I don't care if it's a restaurant. I don't care. I'm only going there for a certain purpose. So I already know what it is, what I want. And when I get this possession of my liking in which I want, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? So I already know. But I be... I be in lines and places and I be looking at these grown ass men. You're supposed to be a man. You're supposed to know what you want. You know what I'm saying? I'm a man. I know what I want. I'm going to get what I want. And they sit there and they act like this is the first time they ever went to KFC. And they be in their car for like 15, 20 minutes trying to make one order, but they supposed to be a man. Oh, I especially like people like that. People who park their car and on the line in the parking lot now everybody know everybody can't drive that good it's not a it's not i'm not saying that it's a hundred percent of people who drive good we have some messed up towback people who drive cars now when these people park in the parking line lane they don't park in between the lines they park on the damn line so you park your car all perfect all peachy and everything you know what I'm saying you bagged up you went in you bagged up again and went back in again they get it right but this asshole when he parked this car he parked on the line and when you came back to your car you couldn't even open your damn door I mean you had to squeeze you had to squeeze with all your well you had to suck in that gut you had to suck in that gut you had to push in them hips and you had to squeeze it to your car Oh, I hate people like that, y'all. Because they inconsiderate. They couldn't take the time out to do that extra little turn and back up. Assholes for real. People who are never wrong. Man, I got a brother, y'all. He ain't never wrong. I mean, he ain't never wrong. You'd be like, man, it's raining outside. He'll go out there with a t-shirt. Talk about... It's not raining, but people who who can't admit to their wrongs, people can people who can't admit when they're wrong. I don't like people like that, y'all. I don't like people. Uh, we we're men and we're women. We're bound to make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? We're bound. And there is no person on this world that is perfect. But why is this person ain't never wrong? And they always arguing about it. It just blows my mind, fam. It just blows my mind, fam. Okay, let's continue to go down this list. People who never went to school to be a teacher, but they want to try to correct the way you talk. Ah, oh, these people are assholes. Hold up. You did not go to school to be a teacher and teach English or uh, linguistics. You know what I'm saying? You didn't teach nobody to speak. But for some reason, you feel that you're compelled to tell people about their language. To me, they are a special type of stupid. You didn't go to college, but you out in the street trying to correct. Oh, you don't say it like that. You say it like this. You asshole. How about you keep that shit to yourself? And this is coming from your boy, Fat Boy Fish's heart. You know what I'm saying? Some things, you need to keep that shit to yourself. You don't need to be out correcting everybody. You are not a teacher. I am not paying you to tell me how to talk English. I've been speaking it my whole life. And I must have said it and to a point to where you understood it. Won't you just leave it that way? Okay. Men that are older but still act like they kids. Now, I know a I know a gang of dudes, right? And they're older. But why is it that when we left high school that they never changed? 
I really mean this. You know what I'm saying? When we was in when we was in our sophomore years running around, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, all that bull. You know what I'm saying? She's pretty. No, she's pretty. All of that bull. These men have never grew up. So they 35, 38, 41. They all older and they still act like kids. Now, I believe you should you should keep a part of of your childhood with you. You know what I'm saying? That golden heart that you had as a kid, you should keep that. You know what I'm saying? You should bring that forth in your whole life. But adolescence and being immature, some people are too damn old to still be acting immature. And I mean that. Now, people who see you struggling and you got a gang of stuff in your hand, right? And you going up to the door and they just walked in the door and they seen you. They seen you struggling with all them boxes and bags and they won't even take the time out to hold the damn door. I should label this one inconsiderate pricks. I really should because this list is compiled of nothing but assholes. But you see these people every day and they don't see nothing wrong with what they doing. That's the damn shame about it, y'all. They don't see nothing wrong with how they acting and the things that they do. So people who see you struggling, man or woman, it doesn't matter. Who see you struggling? You got like 10 bags. You sitting there. You got all them bags on. You trying to get to the door. And they walk right through it. And they don't give a damn. I, I do not like people like that at all. These ones right here. Now, people who pass gas. And they know that it's runchy. And it was hot in their stomach. You know what I'm saying? It was hot. It was something foul. It was something simmering in their stomach. And they knew when they pooed it. Because you didn't hear it. It didn't sound like no Ford, but it stunk up the whole damn room. Now, before they did that, they knew they had to go use the bathroom. They know their stomach was bubbling. They know it was nothing but hot stuff in their guts. And just because you were in that small place and room, I hate when they do it on the elevator, y'all, and then walk right off the elevator. I hate that. And then you stuck on the elevator telling people, I didn't do that. That wasn't me. They don't believe your ass. <laughs> they do not believe you. They believe that you was the one who passed that gas just because you up in there. But back to these people. Now, they be in these positions and they know they got that hot stuff on their stomach. Why they don't run to the bathroom or at least run outside? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They do that. And they fort and poot right by you. And you smelling all of that horrible looking like you just left a, a porta potty. And it smells so raunchy, y'all. It smells so bad. And they know they had it in them. And they just don't care. Inconsiderate prick. Okay, let's keep on going down this list because we almost done. People who act like they never seen a baby before in their life and try to kiss your baby. Oh my God, y'all. Why these people? And it don't matter what color they is. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it don't matter what race they is. They act like they ain't never seen a bit. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so precious. Oh, he's so... Lady, if you don't get your ass away from me. I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know you. I don't know what you have. But you hovering around my children. And like I said many times before, people know that 90% of people here in America have a cold sore. So... This woman up over here trying to kiss on your baby, knowing damn well, y'all, knowing damn well that 90% of all people have cold, cold sore. So this precious, untouched, clean baby that don't got no diseases or nothing, she want to put her lips all on them and, and pass on the damn cold sore. Inconsiderate pricks. <laughs> yeah, I said it. I said it. Yeah, I did. Prick. Okay, let's keep on going down this list. People who don't know how to shut their animals up 3 a.m. in the morning. Oh, y'all. Oh, y'all. Keep keep me up all night. Yarp, yarp, yarp. All damn night. And you go outside. You get mad. You go in your backyard. Shut the hell up. And they come outside and they mad at you now because they can't keep control of their own animals. And they don't know how to keep their animals from barking excessively all night long. Hey, I'm up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I got to get up and go to work. I do not want to hear little Scruffy barking at his own damn self for three damn hours in the nighttime. So I'm supposed to be wrong because I tell your, da your dog to shut the fuck up. I'm supposed to be wrong for that though. Okay. Excuse my language. Inconsiderate. Pricks. Let's go down the list. People who call you and hang up in your face. I don't like people like that. Now, we had a common courtesy to where if I call you by mistake, I'm going to say, oh, my bad. 
I was trying to call 444-2223. This ain't 4442. Uh oh, I'm sorry. You have a good day. But these people will call you and just, they know they made a mistake. And they just hang right up in your face. I will call your ass back. And I will keep on blowing up your damn phone until you say you sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm that type of person. I will keep on bugging you until you know. Don't do me like that no more. Don't do me like that no more. Okay, let's speed up because we already 16 minutes into this. Okay, friends that date your ex-girlfriends or ex-wives. Why? 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 We done sat and had long conversations about how scandalous she is and all of the effed up stuff that she did to me. Why would you want to date this chick? You know what I'm saying? Why would you want to go with this chick and you know everything about her and you know how foul she is and you know that that was my ex chick? Why is you trying to mess with my ex chick? So I don't like my friends who would go behind my back and mess with my ex-girlfriends. Okay, she free. She a free. She can do whatever she wants. She a grown ass woman. But you used to be my homie because you ain't my homie no more. I'm cool. You don't have friends like that. Why would you want to date my ex? Why? Out of all the fishes in the sea. You know what I'm saying? With all the fishes in the sea, why would you go after somebody's trash? I don't get it. Went straight over my head. Will I call him an inconsiderate prick? No. I won't on that one. But they're lonely and they're desperate and they need someone. Okay, let's speed this up. 17 minutes and we're still going. People who think that they taxes pay for everything. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Your taxes do not pay for people with food stamps. Your, your taxes don't pay for people who get a check for them being crazy. Your taxes do not pay for stuff like that. Your, pay ta your taxes pay for your ass. That's it. And you get your money back. Shut the hell up and be happy. Oh, my taxes pay for the whole of America and how America is being run. Stop, stop, stop. You're doing too damn much. You take your little taxes and spend them your damn self. Your taxes is not going to make this this whole world spin. I'm sorry. It's not. Family, I ran out of time on that on that video. I just ran out of time on it. But we're going to go ahead and finish off of this list. Now, we did that one. Friends who date your ex-lovers. Man, y'all need to stop that. You know what I'm saying? Out of all the people in the world you could date, why is you, why is you trying to date your homeboy's ex-girlfriend? Man, that's like... Is that like a low status quo right there? Is that socking somebody below the belt? Uh, I think so. You know what I'm saying? You can find somebody else. You ain't got to be dating somebody's leftovers. You ain't got to do that. Damn. It's called self-respect. Have some. People who will hit your car and take off running. Oh, man. These people right here, y'all. You get into the car accident. Bam! You get into the car accident. By the time... You done pulled out your license and got your registration and your insurance person all years. Ah, and that person gone like a mug. You like, I know this motherfucker did, just didn't hit my car and take off running. And it's crazy, y'all, because, okay, it's 2017, but people will still hit your car and still take off running. One of the biggest reasons why people uh, hit your car first, some of them be drinking and driving still. Can't judge right. You know what I'm saying? When y'all pulled up to that stop, they you they they thought they had way more room. That alcohol be lying to them. Or people they don't have insurance, or people who don't have their license. So when these people hit your car, zoom, they gone like a mug. You like, damn, how was I able to get the license plate number? Hit and run. I don't like, and I'm just being honest, y'all. I'm just being honest. I don't like when I see parents who put that little dog chain and walking they walking they damn children through the street like a damn rock wall or a pet bull. Then they wonder why they grow up and they got anger problems. You know what I'm saying? Then they worry why they got anger problems. You put that collar around their neck like a damn animal when he was two years old. I can't believe people still do this. But people who cannot control their children in the public's eye control your children. I don't, when, when I see little kids getting whooped in public, I be laughing, y'all. I'm sorry. I find pleasure in things that people don't find funny. And if you see a little kid getting their ass toe up, I be looking like, man, what did they do? 
What did they do to deserve that? I don't even feel sorry for them because I didn't got my ass whipped all in public all through when I was a little kid. So I don't feel sorry for you. But to see these little kids get their ass whooped, I be laughing. I be laughing. I'm. I can't help it. Okay, we almost finished. People who can. People who use you just to look better in other people's eyes. I don't like people like that. You not you shouldn't use my influence or my statue as a person to look better than some to somebody else. You want to impress somebody? Oh, let me go get Fat Boy Fish and stand by him, and maybe she'll like me. Maybe they'll be my friend if they see me hanging with Fat Boy Fish. Uh uh. Uh uh. If you want them to be your friend, you need to go uh hook up with them. If you want her to be your your girlfriend, you need to go talk to her. You know what I'm saying? You should not use somebody else, their influence, their stature, their personality to try to get other people to like you. If they don't like you, they don't like you. Deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Deal with it. Some people is not going to like you naturally. It, it doesn't matter on your speech, on how you look. They just don't like your ass. Some people are naturally just not going to like you. I don't care if you got millions of dollars. I don't care if you're famous. Some people are just not going to like you. Period. I, I dealt with that a long time ago. Why they don't like me? They just don't like your ass. Deal with it. <laughs> people who use your name on papers. Now, now, these type of people, I don't let people use me own pieces of paper like this is the same but this will be the same form of what i just said previous but on a piece of paper they got these people calling your house do you know such and such can they vouch? i can't vouch for his ass i can't you know what i'm saying why would you put my name oh they want to they want to uh they doing a credit check and they use you on a foot i can't vouch for them i don't know I don't know if they're going to pay you back. I tell, I'll be honest with them people, y'all. I'll be honest like a bug. I don't, I'll be like, man, I don't even know why they use me. I don't even know why they use my name. I can't talk good on that person. And then that fall back on me. And now these when it's my turn to mess with these people to get a credit line, a credit check, a job, whatever, whatever it might be. Now, that person used my name and they did something foul. Now, these people don't want to mess with me. I don't like people who will use your name on a piece of paper i don't care y'all i don't care and i'm just being honest with you you know what i'm saying truthful truthful as you can be people who give your number to people that they know that you don't like oh and then uh, then i wrote i thought this is the last one then they wonder why you change your number and won't give them the damn number so yeah you give my number to somebody and you know you know I don't like that person. Why would you give him my telephone number? That's like, oh, okay. Oh, I know where he live at. I'll take you right over there. They'll do the same stuff. If they will give a person you don't like, and it could be a friend. It could be a friend that you don't want to deal with no more. It could be somebody in your life that you're trying to clear yourself up. You're trying to, you know what I'm saying? Clear yourself. You don't want nothing to do with that person. And here they come. And they're going to give that person your number and you and you get a call out the blue ring 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 how how the hell did you get my number you know what i'm saying how who gave you my number so i don't like people who will give your number to somebody knowing damn well you don't like that person why would you do that hey this has been your brother fat with just a, a list of things that i just don't like and i consider these people to be assholes or dickheads or pricks one or the other you pick one of them because if, if you see people who act like this something is wrong with them hey this is your brother fat boy fish i just want to come with a show for today y'all make sure y'all have a peaceful blessed day this is your brother fat boy fish and i'm out uh, yeah i confess father i confess because i've been living wrong